today, the title is Breath and the Spirit. What is breath of God? The breath of life, right? And is the, the difference between the breath of life and the spirit? Yeah. And let's like, take a look at the Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Then the Lord God formed the man of the dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. The breath in Hebrew called the Neshama. The breath of the life. It is not the spirit. It's uh, in Hebrew word is uh, neshama, but the spirit in Hebrew word called ruach, ruach. So Adam was made from the dust of the ground. And he was not given what? Spirit yet. This is important. Okay. He was not given uh, spirit yet. He only received from God what? Uh, breath of life, which we call Neshama. Neshama. God did not give him what spirit. Hmm. So he only received the neshama, the breath of God, and the man became, which was made of dust. The man became a living being. Living being. Living man, he become. Living person, living, living human being. So he, it, just because he, he was given the neshama, the breath of life only, he simply now becoming what? Living being. Because he only received breath of life, not the ruach. Ruach is Holy Spirit. Okay. So I want you to remember this, because uh, uh, why Adam sinned? Because he did not yet received what Holy Spirit. No. Yeah. This is important point, really. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> some more surprising <coughs> thing is this. Genesis chapter 1, verse 20. And the God said, so uh, before I get into this, remember that the, before Adam received uh, uh, Ruach, which is Holy Spirit, Adam was just simply existing as what? Nefesh. Nefesh. Okay. Now, here it goes now. And uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 20. And the God said, Let the waters bring forth swarms of living creature. You know, it says, Living creature in English Bible, uh, uh, in Korean uh, language Bible, same living creature. But you know what? In reality, in Hebrew Bible, living creature is originally in Hebrew word, it's nefesh. So all animals, birds, and they also what? was the nefesh, living creature, living being. 
So human was at the what? Adam was at the same level with the animals. Adam only received nefesh, the breath of life, and uh, all these animals, birds and all other animals, also received what? Breath. So they are all living beings. Okay. So in, in Book of Genesis, the human being was not uh, especially something what different from uh, from the animals. They are all living creature. Period. Living nefesh. Okay. When you receive, when you receive Holy Spirit, ruach. What you become? If we receive the Holy Spirit, are we still nefesh? No. We are not simply living creature. You know what we become? We become like what? Angels. Okay. I think uh, I, I, I said this several times, uh, and I want to show you in the Bible, truly, uh, Luke chapter 20, uh, chapter 20, verse, and Jesus says, but those who are accounted worthy to attain to that age and to the resurrection from the dead, neither Neither, they neither marry nor are given in marriage because, for, they cannot die anymore because they are, they are equal to angels. So we are angelic level. We are not, no longer what? The dust level. The physical level. We are spiritual level because you already received what Holy Spirit, and uh, uh, so that's why we are considered as we are considered as we are reckoned as angels right now, and God consider us and uh, as an angel right now, even though we still have what? Sinful body, okay? Because of what? Our faith in Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go back. <clears throat> so, so uh, the verse 21, Chapter 1 of the book of Genesis. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature, nefesh, right, that moves. Okay, so uh, that's why if Adam really was receiving, received already the Holy Spirit, which is Ruach, Probably he didn't sin, right? Yeah. We all know oh, that the Adam has body, but uh, in his body, probably there is no sinful program. <laughs> so that's why Adam, Adam probably uh, did not sin. Okay, <clears throat> but there was no Holy Spirit. In Adam yet at that time. Uh, this is very important point. Okay. Then uh, let's look at uh, this Isaiah chapter forty-two, verse five. Thus says the Lord, He that created in heavens, and stretched them out, He that spread forth the earth. And that which comes out of it, he that gives breath 
이렇게 breath unto the people upon it, and what? And the spirit. So God can give breath, and after you receive the breath, you are living now. The Holy Spirit you can only receive when you have what? When you're alive. <laughs> okay. And the neshama was given when Adam was not alive. So after you become living creature, neshama, uh, I mean nefesh, then you can receive Holy Spirit because you have a choice. Choice between what? Holy Spirit and the evil spirit, who are already what? Evil angels who's following Satan's uh, uh, thinking. And then the Adam as a nefesh will be now having choice between Holy Spirit or what? Evil spirit. Okay. So, <clears throat> we can draw this kind of uh, diagram. Adam was what? Dust. And he received what? Breast, neshama. Then he became man, living man. Okay. Then man, to this man, God gave Spirit, and you become what? God. So make sure you, when you say this, when you write this God, you must write in a small, small letter, okay? <laughs> if you write the capital letter, then you, you're in big trouble, <laughs> okay? And then also, God also means what? Uh, also mean spirit, and when you look at uh, 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 David's Psalm here, Psalm eighty-two, verse six, I said, "You are God." Okay, it's a God is telling David to uh, to David. I said, "You are what? You are God." Uh, in, in Hebrew word, God means what? Elohim. Elohim. You are Elohim. And uh, you know, we are Elohims. We are gods. Is it the great? Yeah. And all of you are children of Most High. Because we are children of God. But that's why. Children of God, our Father. So, if we are really children of God, then we can be what? Small gods, Elohim? Yes! That's what the Bible says. Yeah. <clears throat> and now, so in John chapter 10, uh, verse 34, and, and Jesus is keep on telling the people what? I am son of God. And the Pharisees are very angry. You're a human being, you know? Why are you saying you are, you're the same as God? You know? Then Jesus explained this. Using this uh, uh, this uh, Psalm of David, just we we saw. Uh, so this is Psalm 80, uh, 82 verse six, and uh, Jesus answered them, "Is it not written in your law? I said, you are gods. In the uh, in the book of Psalm, you you forgot." You didn't read it? You know. Uh, I told David, you are God. Right? Mm. And 
Now, next verse, uh, 35th. If he called them gods, to whom, to whom God called them, you are God. Uh, Jesus says, to whom the word of God, to whom the word of God came. If you have in your heart the word of God came into you, then you have a Holy Spirit, then you are Elohim. Bravo! <laughs> right. That's what I please. A lot of people don't don't know this. Can you still watch YouTube? <laughs> okay. Now. So, in John chapter 4, verse 24, God is a spirit. That's what Jesus is saying. And the day, so we will become spirit because we receive Holy Spirit from God. And, and the day that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. And also, in the very interesting point here, uh, in Genesis chapter 3, verse 22, then Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us. See, Adam sinned, right? Then it sounds like Adam what received the Holy Spirit. After Adam received the Holy Spirit, then what does God say? Behold, the man has become one of us. One of us means what? Like a us means God. Three head of God, right? Father, God, Son, God, and the Holy Spirit. And he says, now Adam received the Holy Spirit, and he became one of us. Wow, we're happy. Okay, is there any evidence that uh, Adam received the Holy Spirit? Hmm. Yeah, there is evidence. Okay, this is the evidence. And the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife the garments of skins. What is garments of skins? Garments of skin. Skin of what? Skin of lamb. The lamb is who? Jesus. See, God killed the lamb and had the skin of lamb and put it on Adam and Eve. That means what? You are saved by the death of my son Jesus. Right? So it is very, why, why, God, how God knew that? How did God know that, that uh, Adam actually what? Received, understood the plan of salvation of God with his son Jesus. Is there any evidence that, uh, uh, that Adam really accepted that idea, the plan of salvation of God? Well, okay. Let's go back to the Bible. See, uh, uh, Genesis chapter 3, okay, and uh, uh, verse 20, uh, verse 19. Uh, God said to Adam, 
In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return the ground. See, God already told you sinned and you're dead. You are returning to what? Returning to the ground. For out of it, you were taken from the ground, thus you were taken. Therefore, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. So it's very clear that if sinner dies, just returning back to the dust. Why? Because we came out of dust. Okay. <clears throat> So, so God told Adam what? Because of your sin, you are my, you are dead. You're dead. You will return to dust. And when Adam hear that what God says this means I am dead man, I am sinner. He realized that, you know. He realized it. Then Adam look at his wife. He said, "What?" Then man, the Adam man called his wife's name Eve. When Adam finally realized that he, he, he is the sinner, and they are, he is dead, right? No more life. And then he looked at his wife. That at that time, at that point of time, uh, his wife's name was not Eve. Simply, her name was what? Woman. Okay. So, Adam is changing his wife's name to Eve. What does Eve mean? Eve means uh, mother of life. That means what? Mother of Jesus. Jesus will give life. See? That's why. Why? Uh, how mother? So, this means the for Adam changing his wife's name as what Eve, which means you are honey, you are mother of life. So I'm gonna call you from now on what mother of life. Why? Because we lost our life because we sinned, and to for us to live again, to have a life again. Who has to come? The Jesus has to come. And the Jesus was called what? Uh, descendant of, of what? Woman. Yes. So, that is, uh, that, the first, uh, covenant, okay? The promise of God. And God is telling Adam, I will put enmity between you and the woman. And God is telling, not to Adam, actually, God is talking to whom? To say, uh, to, 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 uh, to serpent. Okay. And so, uh, that woman is, symbolizes a church and, uh, and between your seed and her seed, he shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. And that means, yeah, her seed, her seed is uh, uh, the seed of the woman. Uh, that means what? Uh, uh, Adam says, okay. Honey, you woman, right? And the, from you, from the woman, the seed of what? The seed, the Jesus, 
the our Savior will come. And so he believed that God's plan of salvation, that the God will send his son, uh, that his son Jesus will come through what? Woman. So that's why when God says, you are going to go back to the what? Dust. Then he says, we need salvation. Right? So, uh, the, the God already told them, the seed. Seed means it has what? Seed has life in it. So, the life, the, the Son of God which will give us new life would come through you as a woman. So, Adam says, honey, let's change your, your name, okay? Now, I want to call you what? Eve, which is mother of life. And that proved what? When God hear that, God was so happy that Adam and Eve accepted, right? Accepted his plan of salvation with Jesus Christ. So, this acceptance means what? This Adam and Eve's acceptance of the gospel, the, the plan of God's salvation. How did they accept it? Through the power of what? Holy Spirit. So, at that point of time, finally, Adam and Eve only had what? The shama, uh, the breath only. Now, Adam and Eve finally receives uh, the rock, the Holy Spirit. Then God says what? This man become what? One of us, like a God, Elohim. God declared salvation. Okay. Adam and Eve did not need any kind of further judgment process. God already what? called him. You, he is. One of us. No. See, that's the difference between the neshama, the breath, and the uh, ruach, the spirit. I want to congratulate you. Became God, <laughs> like uh, angels. So let us praise God. And thank to him that he made us now uh, his children as what Nesha, uh, 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 as, uh, as by giving us the ruach, he made us as a small God, <laughs> the children of a big God, the Elohim. And we'll be like a spirit and angel, right? Angels and... So we, we are having a lot of new nicknames. Now we are gods, Elohim, and angels, and the spirit, just because we received Ruach, the Holy Spirit. Praise God! <laughs>